It's a Football Friday edition of the Morning Minute. How are you? Nate Lundy, Sean Drotar, TJ Carpenter. Uh, we could sit here and bitch and moan, or we could try to make you smile. We can't really decide which one is more appropriate. I even asked it as a poll question on Twitter, because I can't decide whether it's a Friday and I want to be in a good mood, or whether I want to let everybody vent about the game last night. Let's start off with the good stuff. Let's do the good stuff first. Uh, what stood out for you that you liked, Sean? Well, I, I like how the team didn't, I know it's a preseason game and the, the, the wins don't make any difference, but when you have a bunch of young guys late in a game in a fourth quarter and they find a way to rally, uh, get 14 points on the board, I'm impressed with that. I think it's a good opportunity for young guys to at least simulate a game situation. And it was the young guys, uh, Kyle Sloter, Isaiah McKenzie, D'Angelo Henderson, sort of all leading the way late, uh, all rookie players. So I, I was very happy with the youth. And then early in the game, and maybe with playing the second string, guys like Jamal Carter uh, playing sort of a, a hybrid uh, nickel linebacker type spot looked really good. So a lot of the Broncos' young players, I, I think, impressed. Uh, TJ, as you went through the game again, good thoughts that you had? All of the starters stayed healthy, which is great. Uh, that's really all you need to see in the preseason. And like Sean said, the young guys, the guys who really do need to play out at this time of the year, did. Uh, Isaiah McKenzie looked great offensively. Sloter, I think, helped his chances of potentially making another roster. Uh, but certainly you feel good about uh, about what you, you've got in him as, as kind of a fringe roster prospect. Um, and, and then you mentioned D'Angelo Henderson. He looked great. And then, of course, the no-fly zone was spectacular. And we saw that right off the get-go with the uh, pick six from Chris Harris. I'll throw one other name out there that kind of stood out to me in terms of something good. We had a Cody Latimer sighting last night, people. And I think that after the a number of frustrations that Broncos fans have had over the couple of seasons that he's spent here in Denver waiting for him to sort of step up and be this big guy that can make plays. I think maybe we saw a glimpse of it. I want to see some more as we go throughout the preseason. We know that he's great on special teams, but that's obviously not why they spent the draft pick on him that they did. So to see him emerge would be a very good thing. Now let's talk about the quarterback play, Sean. Well, I think what you saw for Trevor Simeon is, is a certain amount of poise that wasn't even maybe there last year, a comfort level that regard throughout the stats, uh, Simeon looked like he knew what he wanted to do and looked like he knew what he was doing. And I think that was it. Quite frankly, I thought Kyle Sloter looked more like he knew what he wanted to do than Paxton Lynch, who still looked a little bit like a deer in the headlights. That when he made a pass, uh, many of those to Latimer, five of those were to Latimer, but they were all dump offs, just tiny little dump offs that were first read, step back within a second and a half, let go of the pass, and if not, he took off and ran every time, by the way, to the right side, which eventually, if you keep doing that, that's going to get you crushed by a linebacker in the NFL. If within the first uh, few plays of next Saturday, with the game on the road against San Francisco 49ers, something good doesn't happen. Uh, TJ, it's going to get ugly for Paxton fans. Yeah, I think so, and it's going to get ugly for Paxton. Paxton Lynch looks every bit like an NFL quarterback right up until the moment where he has to play NFL quarterback. And I think that's the biggest problem is that just because you look the part doesn't mean you can play the part. And you're right, if he doesn't have a good game against San Francisco, and I'm not talking about a series, I'm talking about a whole quarter, two or three, four series where he looks really good, making his reads, all of those things. I don't care what his stat line is. Make the reads, go through your progressions, do the things that professional quarterbacks do. If you can do that, then you'll, you'll take the right step forward. But right now, it's not looking like he can do it. Exactly. So we got more to react to. We'll do that over the course of the next week. We'll get ready for the next preseason game. And of course, the Rockies in action. Three game set starts tonight down in Miami. Thanks for stopping by on a Football Friday edition of the Morning Minute. For TJ, for Sean, I'm Nate. We'll see you.